tongues and tongues, most of y'all probably, you may not have heard yet. Uh, an interesting tidbit about this song, it's called The Big Picture, and uh, I entered it in a song contest. See, I entered Hurry Home in a lot of song contests. I was kind of a song contest whore there for a little while. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to say. And, uh, and Hurry Home won, uh, you know, a fair share of song contests. Half the musical equipment I own is stuff I, I won with Hurry Home in some song contest or another, but, uh, one particular song contest <clears throat> that I entered was the uh, Nashville Songwriters Association International Song Contest. Pretty big one, you know, they've got about 5,000 entries usually every year. And uh, <clears throat> what they do is they, uh, if, you, if you get, if you at least get an honorable mention, they, they give you a, a little sheet of feedback about your song. This is what I love about Nashville. You know, yes, you, we'll take your money, you can enter it, and then we'll give you some press. And if you don't win, we'll give you some snobby feedback about your song. Well, the big picture, they called me up and were like, dude, you won, we love your song. And I was like, really? Which one? Because I had entered more than one. And they said, the big picture, of course. And I was a little bit shocked because I'd also entered Hurry Home. So the big picture beat out Hurry Home in this particular song contest. And in fact, Hurry Home, <clears throat> I think it got an honorable mention. It was not one of the top at all. It, maybe it didn't even get, no, it didn't even get an honorable mention, Hurry Home did. And they, <clears throat> on the feedback sheet, they gave it a 7 out of 10. And uh, it was like, you know, does this song have a good opening line? Does this song have a catchy hook in the chorus? Does this song have a whatever? And they were, they rated you, how the imagery in this song? And it, one out of ten, whoever gave me just giving me sevens all the way down, mark seven, that was it. So, that was very home, the song that ended up going on to be, you know, 14 on the billboard chart. And, uh, this is the big picture, and maybe this one will uh, do better someday. Like I said, I really don't write songs for the purpose of interviewing contests or. <clears throat> uh, All right, so it's just after you've written a song, you're sitting there trying to think about how to put food on the table. And then you come from a bit because you can, something you can do at 2 in the morning when you're like, my career is going nowhere. <laughs> and you're sitting there in your pajamas, like on the internet, feeling miserable, and you're like, what can I do to like move things forward? And then you see a song contest and you just go ahead and click it in. <laughs> I'm really amazed anytime people actually come out to see me play. Um, really appreciate y'all. See a lot of familiar faces. Thank you guys. And uh, keep in touch. There's my email list. Oh, they're actually gonna they're gonna start having me here every Tuesday, first Tuesday of the month. That way you can actually mark your calendar, tell your friends, and you kind of have some consistency. First Tuesday of every month I will be here, except for next month when it's the second Tuesday. How's that for Yeah. 
Yeah. 